Last time I made a blank journals video, I did not live in Toronto, but now I do. So instead of having a book room, I have a book nook area. It looks a bit messy right now. I could plug in the lights, but it's daytime. Uh, but this is how it looks at the moment. Okay, and then I've got this beautiful shelf that I just got. Um, it's got sliding doors, and it's one of my favorite movies. And this is where I've put the blank journals. Um, my used journals are on that shelf, going oldest to newest there. And I, I haven't been journaling much, I'll admit it. But I do owe you guys an updated um, journaling video of uh, the blank collection. Now, if you saw the previous blank collection, this is all going to look pretty darn uh, familiar. I'll look and see my classics. Oh, I love books. One of my favorite books. So many books I want to read. Oh, there's a new edition of Just Kids out that I haven't got, but okay. We're, this, is not what we're, this is not what we're doing. We're doing blank journals. Okay, guys. So, here we go. You're going to recognize a bunch of them from before. I'm just going to move to a little... Look at me. I'm not ready. I have this beautiful DSLR I could be using. But, you know, you can use a phone and make these videos. Let's just bring these out. So, uh, oh, look, there's some zines down there. So this is what I'm considering a journal. Just haven't used it yet. Um, and I love that it looks like the old library cards that we had in school. Or even in libraries. And that reminds me of this that I still have. That I haven't opened. Oh, hi. That's me still. Still, <laughs> um, I haven't used this for my books, but I think that would be so cool. Do you lend out your books or no? Anyway, so looking back at journals, unused blank journals. I still have this one. It looks used because I've had it so long. It's so freaking applicable still. I'm wondering if I'll ever use this um, as... I probably wouldn't use it for its purpose of, I can't sleep, why can't I sleep? I probably would use it as a normal journal, but I just, I don't, I don't know if I will, but I think I will. Here we go with this one. I remember my dad got me this um, from when he went and saw Macbeth, or he got me Macbeth stuff. There's a mug. And I believe he got me... Did he give me another copy of Macbeth? I think he did. It's right there. And he got me this journal. Now, I wasn't into the paper blanks of this type. Um, I'd had... I've used smaller versions. I just find that it would get too puffy. But i got to admit, it is pretty. It's kind of royal. So, I don't know. Maybe the amethyst color reminded him. I don't know. That was years ago. This is another journal I've had a lo long time. Oh, a pop-up just popped up for me to race. Hot ring racing has been something I've been doing a lot lately. This looks like a beautiful journal. Now, I've since gone... Gone. Become... Uh, need more... Uh, I don't eat dairy or meat, and I try to make choices that don't affect... But I, I don't think this is real leather. But if it is... Like, it's, I've got it now. I've got a few actual real leather journals, and I don't, I, it just, I've had a lot of these journals a long time. Not that I would judge anybody who has leather journals or anything like that. I'm just saying, if you see something like that, don't just, just oh yeah, like that could be real leather. Who knows? The buckle's really neat. Look at that. I wonder if by the time I use it, it'll still be... These are big journals, so, so let's let's put these back. So I've kind of yeah, this is how you make a professional uh, journaling blog, guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> we'll just just stick that right there. Okay. So these, I'm gonna be honest, I love these. I, I think it's great when I've seen people who use these in, like, um, uh, journals that they, like, 
put multiple ones of these in. But I use the I use these for school when I was going to classes. And when I go to classes again, I'll probably use them again. Or I'll use them for something else. I've got some notebooks over here as well. These are like writing inspiration notebooks. And the, these fat little notebooks are also random things. And that's my current journal. But other than that, the, these, I don't count these as journals because I'm not going to use these as for journaling. And they say they're notebooks. But you know how we use all sorts of different... Oh, the cat has claimed the pillow. That's Chai. Okay, so here we go. This is a beautiful leather one that I got at a shop in, in Toronto here years and years ago with this beautiful paper, you know, handmade. <laughs> I, I don't know if it'll still be together by the time I use it. And look, it looks like many multiple notebooks, right? It's, it's very beautiful. And I, I do want to use it. Now I see this. I mean, look at, look at how beautifully designed. This is a handmade one. And then we've got, so we've got that. I've still got Wreck This Journal. And if you look, there's been multiple editions out since. This is the original one. I'm I'm the exact type of person that should be doing Wreck This Journal. And the reason why it hasn't been used is because I am the exact type of person that should be using Wreck This Journal. Some of these will be new since that last video. So this is a good time to do this. This is NaNoWriMo month. This is from last year, maybe? Or the year before. Those who do NaNoWriMo will know exactly what year this particular emblem is from. I just can't remember. All I know is that NaNoWriMo is a fail for me this year so far unless I do all the words in the last 14, 13 days of the month. But this would be a great journal for writing in wall-to-wall -wall scrawl for me. Um, the strap doesn't seem to be any good, but I, I'm not a very big fan of these um, straps. Just to be honest with you, I don't think they ever keep the thick ones together and they get too loose even when you don't even do anything or use them. But that's where those who modify their journals uh, get clever and and stuff. So th this strap seems to be in good condition. You'll recognize this one. I've had this one in a long time. Uh, well, I think I got this one in St. Thomas, but we're all mad here at the Alice in Wonderland. Moleskin. Remember? Is it Moleskin or Moleskin? Remember? Okay, there is this journaling community on Live Journal called Embodiment. And uh, then when these became popular, there was another journaling community specifically for these. And they, the original ones. Are, and there's. Oh, I'm just going to like get on my knees now for this. I'm like, oh, my back. My poor back. Sorry. This this looks beautiful, though. It, it was a limited edition. I'm wondering when I'll use it. I'm a Alice in Wonderland fan. We're just going to take a quick pan over. See? this my Alice in Wonderland teacup set, teapot. You can't see it. It's all blurry except for my fat fingers. Sorry about that. Um, my Alice in Wonderland books. An Alice in Wonderland lunchbox that has postcards of Alice in Wonderland that I got from Carol years ago. Um, I had an Alice in Wonderland big mug that was great for tea and it was just wonderful and when it broke years ago I, well, it was a very big loss. It was a Walt Disney one as well. So, anyway, here's moving on. This is about journaling. On the road, Jack Kerouac. On the road? Um, yeah, anyway. Not my favorite book of his. There are my bums is, but this is the journal. Remember this series? That um it looks beautiful. The pages look great. Doing this one handed. Um Yeah. Doesn't that look lovely? I just wanna do some book to read. This is about it's good cover. It's it's good. 
It's a good cover. Again, a lot of these will be... I've kept this one. I have gotten rid of some journals, but this one I keep because... The pages are great. It's a good quality journal. I... I I, I usually like lying, but this one is a really nice journal. Yes, I am a Harry Potter fan, or I was years ago. Um, I like Tolkien and Harry Potter shelf, so. Um, I know, I don't know when I'll write in it, but I, I like it. I like it. I know it's floppy, but I like it. Now, here's one I was given as a gift. Look at this. See this? I'm sorry. Um, I kind of want to re-gift it back to the person. Because, but they aren't using a journal that they already have. But if they do ever fill up a journal, I probably might give this back. That's much. Uh, might give this back to them so that they can use it. But I'm not sure. I don't hate it. I just, I'm not sure what to do with it. Oh, I found the, the other notebook. So, you guys will have seen these. These are beautiful. Like, when it rains, like the rain. Blah, blah, blah. All these beautiful, inspiring life quotes. <laughs> these ones would be great to d start doing a personal, like, bullet journaling stuff and all that. But I'll be honest with you. I'm just an old school journaler. I will paste stuff in now and then when I get in that mood, but I will also just write. And so while I see how these could be great for, um, these notebooks would be great for lots of reasons. I just, I don't know. I got to think about it, guys. I mean, sometimes I think, oh, I should do a poetry journal. I should do this. I should do that. But I don't. I remember getting this in uh, chapters and uh, not chapters, but it's called like Coles or I don't even know if it's there anymore. It was a, it was a older, but connected to the chapters kind of thing. So I have filled one of these. It had the tree on it. Um, I think it can fall apart, the glue there, but it is a beautiful, like, it feels nice. The covers are good, and the pages are just like, if you're into lots of room, <laughs> that's a lot, I mean, right? And then, because they're, they're just beautiful. Well, the clasp is annoying, there you go. The best things in life aren't things. <laughs> <laughs> I find it ironic a little bit, but this one, it's, in, it's all, it's beautiful. Blue and green. These are, like, blue, that's my favorite color, blue, and I love, this is just very, this, if I was doing, using this one, it would make me happy and calming to, like, use this journal. And here's another one that... I think was gifted to me or did I buy it? I love maps and globes and well, see the globe is a globe. Um that one's still considering I don't know how old this is, but oh look at that. Adventures with uh, that's why it's a Peter Popper press one. Yeah. Look at these with the quotes and the sound of the crackle. I could see this one falling apart in the binding but this snap has stayed really good and then I haven't even taken this one out of the wrapper I remember I, I probably ordered this online but it's obviously through Kohl's and I was really on my traveling kick I mean I, I had done some overseas traveling and I wanted to go to Paris next but um wouldn't that be lovely? I, I I don't know why I'm not taking it out of the wrapper, but I'm just not. Not yet. So these two are similar. Obviously, they're similar with the, with the way they are. And, um, yeah, I like keeping my journals in here. This is a new shelf. It, I know it's dusty. Again, with this, I probably 
I might give that one away. I don't know. I mean, eventually there has to be a time limit. I mean, I know a lot of people have blank journal collections. Um, journals are mean to write in. I try not to buy any more because um, I just don't want to have a bunch of unused journals, especially if I'm not writing. There are people that are filling up journals consistently, and I totally get having a lot of these um, in backup for, you know, on the ready, but I, I am someone who has not. Now this again, a beautiful journal, still beautiful, but it needs to be written in. I got this from an online friend years ago. She gave it to me, gifted it to me. Look at the way the pages are. Oh, now, you know what? Now looking at the pages, it reminds me of um, elementary school in a way. But this would be just gorgeous. Look at it. Look how beautiful it is. Don't look at my back. Just look at how beautiful it is. And we just, we're still in autumn, but we just had our first snow. This kind of reminds me of that. Everything's dirty, sorry. Oh, I have to put on the road. It's looking messy. That is, if I waited any longer to give you guys an updated journal collection video, I would never do it because I've been, you know. Anyway, this journal is beautiful. It needs to be written in soon. So, I don't know. I, I, I'll get to it. I just feel like I don't, I don't want to do it an injustice, so we'll see. Um, okay, so we have this pen that came with one of the journals, and I got it in Venice. So this is a book that uh, a couple of my Toronto photographs were pu published in, and then um, I got the book shortly before I found out I would get to move back to Toronto. So, and this is my book of photography from Toronto years ago. But as you can see, this one goes like the other one. Same store, it's in Queen Street East, where I'd buy incense. And you can imagine, well, if you don't like the dirt on the floor, how beautiful this journal is. And the craftsmanship and all that stuff. I mean, it's gorgeous. I love little journals. I will go through phases where these are the best for me to write in. This is one of the last ones I bought, I think, not long ago. Look how gorgeous. And it's got a... So I like smaller notebooks at times. This is that one that matches the pen. This was bought in Saint in, in Saint Mark. How do I just Saint, Saint Mark Square in Venice? Made in Italy, but you can buy these in you know they're worldwide because it's I'm pretty sure. And this is another little little one that I really like. Again, I'm not sure if the clasp will hold up, but Virginia Woolf. I have her collected works. It's there behind my passport, and I have to read them. I have to read them because, you know, I've only read bits and pieces, but this is one that would be filled up fast if I was writing. And again, like I said, a lot of these are the same. I haven't been writing that much, so I've got a lot of the journals that I had before. I'm pretty sure I ordered this online as well, but from Indigo, or Chapters Online, indigo.ca. Oh, you pretty thing. <laughs> or I saw it in the store because they had it in the store too. So it could, I, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, so you can see I still like Alice in Wonderland, but this is like quotes from everything. Um, let's strike the sun if it is. This looks like it would be a good. As soon as you trust yourself, you will know how to live. Ah, ah, truth, smack me in the face. Take that, self. No, like, it's like opening up random books and getting messages. Again, this is another book I've had. Um, a blank journal. Got it on Queen Street East. 
and um, it's, it's cool, right? Look how cool it is. It's freaking cool. <laughs> Writer's journal. And I like the size of it. I like the writer icons and I like see so that's a beautiful journal and we're nearly done uh, this is a gorgeous journal oh my gosh when I use it I think I really had a traveling uh, you know you want to see places and do things but this reminds me of snail mail and everything traveling and then I mean it this looks like a really good journal too I mean it's called passport journal well there you go yeah so these aren't big journals well I have but they're really great here's another Alice one it isn't being used now this is a dreaming journal uh, I used to write down my dreams no matter what, kind of, like, end online, no matter what. Um, I, again, I don't think I would use this for a dream journal. I would use this just a, a journal. I, I'm, I'm not really one to keep separate journals for different things. I stopped that when I... This is another one with a broken thing. <laughs> it's a... Uh, I'm not one to keep separate journals just because um, I would have to wait. I, I did back when I was younger. I had a quotes journal and I do regret throwing it out. It's getting darker. There's my tripod so I can make you great videos with my DSLR and I'm not. This is a little Coach House Press Books. They're a publishing house and they gave this. I, I wouldn't use this as a journal, but this would be a neat for. Um, isn't that neat? It is. The paper does feel good. <laughs> um, and then this is another, like, I don't know what I would use this for, but it's pretty. I think somebody gifted that to me. Now, here we are. This journal has missed out on being in journaling, blank journaling videos. But this is probably, I mean, I, I do like Doctor Who. Um, and in that cupboard is a lot of Doctor Who stuff, but again, this journal has missed um, a few of the blank journal things. I got it for Christmas, I think, one of the years that, well, one of the first years where we were, where things, you know, after the settlements and everything. So I ordered this from a, like, geeky site that had a lot of cool stuff, um, including uh, the Doctor Who lights that I have, I think. But this journal was offered. <laughs> Anyone who's a fan of the 10th Doctor, um, or David Tennant, number 10? 11? 11. Uh, no, 11 was 11. Mass, mass. But this is River Song's journal, okay? Yeah, River Song. So, this is what she had. And I think... Oh, I have shown you guys. I think in the last one where I was finally including it. I don't even know how I'm ever supposed to use this. It's just too beautiful. Like, it's beautiful. It's freaking beautiful. It's the gift that Amy got as well from Riversong. But here's the thing. I mean... Um, how am I supposed to use this? When a journal is this gorgeous, and yet here's the other problem. If I don't use it soon, it's not, you know, it's going to deteriorate. It's of that kind of paper that... Now, I think I discovered last time that there is a page that has stuff on it. But it, does anyone have this journal and have they used it? Have they dared to write in it? I mean, it almost makes you feel like an artist should have these. And, oh, that reminds me that I've seen that journal out there that's supposed to be um like what um David Tennant's doctor had that he filled for a bit when he was incognito um 
in that episode, but yeah, this is probably one of the most beautiful journals I have that intimidates me. Not just because of the size of it, um, it would take a long time to fill this up, but because it's just so beautiful and it's connected to the, like, the nerd, nerdy side of me and also because I feel like, like, it should ha be used in the most beautiful way. Um, it's supposed to have this bow on it, but I, I messed it up, I know. <laughs> But there, there's the blank journal collection right now, in, in the, in this particular bookshelf. And there's like writing books and and then zines and whatnot. But here's one more uh, that I got <laughs> last month, so it's already too late for 2018. But um, it was the Artist of Life workbook that Lavender put out. I haven't even opened it. And it's November now, so <laughs> I'm not going to get my life in order with this book um, for this year. And she puts out one, I think she's already putting out the new one, but I got a deal on it. So I'm hoping that way right here. This one here. Yeah, it's good quality too, but. I don't know. I think I'm going to turn it into a terrible book because if I use anything that's in it, it's going to be for 2019, right? But let's see what this beautiful book that could have. <laughs> yeah, see? Lavender. So she's got a new one out right now for the following year. There you go. Merchandise and everything. Wow. We could have shared this book in. I want to step out and live fully. Look at this. Oh, make a vision board, health goals. If this is any idea of what the next one will be. Oh, I used to have this quote. I have this quote in one of my paper journals I've written it in. Dear artist of life, congratulations to give you your goals for 2018. Here, this is what I'm thinking. This can still be useful for this year. Goodbye 2017. I'll be like, goodbye 2018. <laughs> um, this is good. So you get your reflections and your goals, health goals. No, I can still use this for this year. Shh, don't tell self, uh, t don't tell self love. Don't tell lavender. <laughs> I mean, now I'm curious to get the new one, but look at this habit trackers. Well, now you got a preview if you want to check out her new one because, um, but I, I think I can use this for this year. Um, yeah. Habit tracker. Oh my gosh, you know what? I'm going to organize my life with this for the next year. Yeah. This is actually really good. Okay, the cats are going a little crazy. Right. Yeah. They want, they want food or something. They, they, they know, they don't usually get fit like this time, so they're just trying to get my attention. You know, mommy's talking to herself again. <laughs> it's been a while since I've made videos. Oh, look at that. Her top books. Yeah, see, this is a good idea to like, I have Forest, that app. It did cost a couple bucks, but it is worth it. When you, especially in your, if you're in classes or you're just trying to write or something you want to focus, it lets you plant a tree if you like, don't touch your phone. <laughs> it's worth it. Um, I'm shaking like I need to like get my life in, on track so hey I open this up with you guys not a very like slow oh, there's my hair my short hair I gotta grow my hair jeez got my hair cut and <laughs> goal for 2019 grow my hair <laughs> I'll be able to achieve that if I don't cut it yeah I gotta go the cats are doing everything possible to like um, so we're going to put that there, that little artist of life. <laughs> and this is still, I'm still on this journal. All you journalers journaling. See, see how I like the smaller journals though? They're there. So yeah, those go back to my like age 11 journals and then onward. And then you've got like proceeding forward. <laughs> In, in the dark, <laughs> it's like, 
um, yeah, sorry, I'm just like, I didn't really plan this video, <laughs> um, yeah, so, anyway, so, uh, you know what, Artist of Life is going to come out of there, because it looks like I could really actually use this soon, um, I would get the newest one, but I, I gotta, like, watch my funds, because I just, well, yesterday I bought, um, I ordered a book by Mike. Oh, I gotta put Emily. I gotta rewatch this movie. You should rewatch your favorite films just to every few years. You know what? Since you're still here, um, you've seen the blank journals. You've seen the blank journals. You've heard the crinkling of. You've seen the. Um, this is a book. If you watch. Burgess Taylor, she has done something on uh, the artist way. I still recommend on writing, but I really loved like a lot of these books. <sighs> yeah, Poem Crazy is one of my favorites. Um, and Workbook by Stephen Hayton. Now, Pep Talks for Writers. Um, it's an NaNoWriMo book. Um, I actually just got that this year. It was going to help inspire me to write, and I didn't write. <laughs> but I am going to read it. It'll still, like, I can write any time of year. But see, I'd move my Awake in the Muse there to be, like, at my back. So I would be... But I, my iMac was broken, and I just got it back. And I was like, I'm going to write this freaking year. And then I didn't, I didn't write. So that, that happened. That's my story of, of not persevering, but you know, there's Groot. Um, guys, I'm still here. Uh, I'm still stumbling around. Uh, I'm trying to figure things out. <laughs> I know I like to write. I know I like to read. Um, I know I like to drink bad coffee and good tea. I went from having a book room to this is my area, this book nook. So like, um, I've got a great view at my desk. Oh, I left the plastic garbage there. Great, that's great. So, and there's my typewriter, but there's my iMac and this is my, the last of my bookshop. So it's right here, and you come around, and you're like, oh, books, somebody reads here, or they probably should be. What is this tape doing here? Oh, this fell. See, not taking care. These autumn leaves are from the dollar store, and uh, I just love them so much. They're woven into my lights, and I, I'm going to keep them year-round. I don't know if you saw my tattoo before, but... It's a memorial for my twin, and I love autumn. I didn't get out enough, but I got some autumn leaves, but aren't these great? I, I don't know. I like it. It's like my little place, and if I'm laying on the floor and I just look up, it's like this. It's like having a fort. Here, I'll show you. I'll show you. Why not? If you're still watching. Oh, there's Line and Hank. Do you remember my boys? Okay, so imagine it's nighttime, and you're looking up. Isn't that kind of magical? I know I got those lights over there, but right there. You know what I'm saying? Can you can you imagine it at night? Like just being kinda of... But this has gone on long enough. I guess I just really wanted to talk to somebody. Here you go guys. <laughs> um where where do you get your inspiration from? And if you're not writing or, or reading or doing the things you love, um don't worry about the dry spell because the rain always comes again and we'll make it through the times that we're not doing it. Don't 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 worry about starting over again like as far as you don't have to start journaling where you left off or like update your journal. I mean it's sad for the things you missed, but just like start writing again. That's advice to myself. Because these blank journals aren't going to fill themselves, you know? Yeah. Let's focus on, there you go. Oh, I forgot to put these away. Let's just put these over here. 
These are so pretty. Yeah. Everybody does draw them different, but I think it's great that we are still writing. That's my Stones and Gems collection. Okay. I'm gonna go. Bye. Hi.